Alright, are you ready for the cringe yet? You know what's coming. What's good in the hood guys welcome back to another video and in today's video I kind of just want to talk about my Friday because in general it's just been kind of whack I'm honestly so surprised I do not have a giant goose egg on my head oh do I I don't know it looks a little red right there but last night after I was done you know making a video before my stream this fucking mic stand, if you guys don't know, my microphone's on a stand and it comes from like behind my monitors and just sits in front of me, right? It got loose behind there where it like hooks onto the desk and it fell and hit this fucking target of a forehead. It's right fucking here. And you know what they say, if it hurts, don't touch it, so we're just not gonna touch it. That was probably one of the most pointless things I could have shared with you guys, but... But seriously, today has been one of the most fucked up days ever dude and i'm not saying that just to say it today overall has just been a little fucky first things first guys before i even get remotely into the topic any more than i already have today you guys crushed yesterday's video with likes like i expected that not even to get like 600 and you guys broke a thousand like that's so fucking nasty to me you have no idea my videos have never been good with, you know, likes to view ratio. I don't know why, but they've just never been good. And to see that kind of growth there is honestly so fucking crazy. I still can't comprehend it. So thank you guys. I really do appreciate that. A lot of you guys already know this, but I feel like I've gained a bunch of new viewers that don't know this already. I work as a receptionist for a training center. A training center for safety courses and computer training, and that's how they branch off. But nonetheless, I am a receptionist at a safety center. So there's a lot of people coming in and out wanting training and whatnot and signing up. But on the computer side of the training center, it is considered a college, like it has a college license. So when people want to take these courses, they can apply for funding through the government and a lot of people actually do because you can tax it and stuff and blah blah, all this fun shit, but. So this lady came in actually yesterday and dealt with my coworker. She came in inquiring about a course, but realized she had to apply for funding because the cost of the course was just definitely not in her budget, right? Well, my coworker dealt with her and realized that she couldn't do any more for her than I could or anyone else in the office at that point. So she sent her home, said come back tomorrow just a little bit earlier in the day because she came like an hour or two before it closed. And it took them an hour or two to figure out she needed to come back. Correct me. You fucking ball sack. I've never called anyone a ball sack until now. And I shit you not, this lady that was told to come, you know, just a little bit earlier than the previous day because her appointment would be set up for like 2.30, came when the doors open. When I get to work, the first thing I do is water plants. I have a green thumb that was forced upon me because, you know, it came with the job. But nonetheless, I have to water these plants. So every morning when I get into the office, I go to the back sink, fill up my stupid orange jug, and I go to town watering all those plants. Like I said though, guys, I water the plants as soon as I get into the office, meaning it's probably 7.45 when I'm watering the plants and stuff, so no one's gonna be at the door or anything like that, right? And as soon as the clock switch to 8, this lady gets out of this cab and walks up to the door. And keep in mind, I've been here since like 7.45, you know, I've been there, the door's unlocked already, and I, you know, I'm just chilling. And this lady has no idea that the door's unlocked, so she gets out of the cab, she stands there, and she literally waits at the door. Like, she's staring right into my soul, and she's waiting there, like, waiting for me to open the door for her, like, she's royalty. I just, I don't know, I found it really funny. Honestly, though, this lady just was kind of off from the beginning, and tonight when I took my shirts over to Nathan's house, because I made some for his mom, she told me that she actually was diagnosed with schizophrenia, so she is a little off. Like, I was in no way rude about it, I tried to help her as much as I could, but the reason why she came to the office was to, you know, apply for funding, like I said, and that's what she came in to do, and me as a receptionist, I do not do any of that. I do not run any side of the, fan like, the funding at all. So when she she's asking me questions on how to help her I'm literally just like uh, yeah I don't know but what struck me and you know was frustrating me a little bit is that this lady was 56 I know this because you know I had to help her use the computer she's 56 she's applying for a computer course and she doesn't know how to use 
a computer. I wouldn't feel bad about this at all. Like I wouldn't be frustrated if the computer course she was registering into had anything to do with learning how to use a computer. But no, this course is like accounting, Microsoft Office, like Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. You guys know what that is. You probably use it all the time in school. That's what these courses are, right? And this lady just has no, not the slightest clue on how to use a computer. I had to show her how to like left click the mouse and use a scroll wheel and like drop down menus. Oh, th those were a task. She put her birth date as like something something 2007 and she made me like called me and she said, you know, help me. I can't get it to change from 2007. And it was like literally a drop down menu to where you would just click it and it would change. And she's like, I don't know what's going on, man. Like it just, it chose 2007. And I can't get it to erase. And I literally just stood there in disbelief that like this was going on because literally all she had to do was click on it, drag down and, you know, pick the correct like year. And that's all there was to it. And I had to show her how to do that. And yet she still just could not grasp that. I mean, I'm not gonna judge in any way. She obviously doesn't use a computer or hasn't ever needed to use a computer. So there's no reason to sit here and complain about her computer skills. But I just found it very, very silly that, you know, she's applying for, why was I standing there like that? She was applying for a computer course, like that has nothing to do with how to actually use a computer. And she doesn't know how to use a computer. I'm doing invoicing, you know, I'm putting through payments that people that call on the phone, I'm answering phones and every two seconds this lady is asking me how to do like the most basic shit on a computer, like how to use the freaking scroll wheel. So I was a little bit busy earlier today, like, you know, just getting stuff done so I can kind of just chill out and relax for the rest of the day. And she was just not letting me get my shit done. <laughs> And when she got her funding thing, it was approved for like two grand and the course itself is over 4,000. So when she got approved for like $2,000, she almost lost her mind because she doesn't have the money to pay for the rest of the course. And she was like telling my boss, Nathan's mom, like, you know, you're gonna have to call them back and get them to, you know, fund it all. They're gonna have to do it, right? And that's when Nathan's mom kind of lost her shit. She didn't lose her shit on this lady, though, because she obviously has a mental thing going on there. But she's just like, it's not my job, dude. It's yours. Since this lady was, like, does have a mental thing going on there, she does have and has had a lot of things handed to her in her life when it comes to government funding. So she's used to, you know, the government, you know, pulling out, forking out cash for her, but... The way the government's going right now, they've like revoked all of that kind of payment stuff. But nonetheless, this lady acted like, you know, she should have everything handed to her because it's literally been like that her whole life. So I can't even explain it into the extent like that it made me feel because it was just like every little thing that you do on a computer and you do it without even thinking, like imagine not knowing how to do it at all. And like I said, though, it's not a big deal. Like, I do realize she's probably never had to use a computer until now in her life. So it's like, I do understand. Like, it's okay. But she really should not be registering herself into a computer course that has nothing to do about learning how to use a computer. It's like accounting stuff. I hope she realizes, like, that's what she's signing up for right now. I mean, this course could be just something for her to do in her spare time. I mean, she is 56. You'd think, you know, she should be on the way to, like, retiring, that kind of thing. But I don't know. I'm not the one to judge, and I don't know what's going on in her life. But all I know is she needs some computer training but that is today's video guys hopefully you did enjoy it and i am streaming on my own twitch tonight so if you want to check it out link will be in the description and yeah see you guys there this time i ain't gonna run away